This week, we turn to the 11th chapter of John and hear a story of resurrection and life. You see, Jesus had been traveling with the disciples when he heard that his good friend Lazarus had become ill. Now, Jesus realizes that this illness was part of God's revelation of Jesus' power. So, Jesus doesn't rush to Lazarus's side. But when he arrives in the village of Bethany days later, where Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha, lived, Lazarus has already been dead for four days. Now, four days is significant because in those days, they believed that it took four days for the spirit to finally leave the body. So four days meant that Lazarus wasn't just mostly dead, but fully dead. The kind of death that stinks with a body's decay. Now Martha is the first to say it to Jesus. If you had been here, our brother would not have died. But Martha, who believes in Jesus, goes on to say, but God will give you whatever you ask. And then Jesus says, yes, Martha, your brother will rise again. And Martha says, I know. I know my brother will rise again on the last day. But Jesus says, no, Martha, you don't understand. I am the resurrection and the life. Well, then Martha's sister Mary comes to Jesus with the crowds who were consoling her, and together they weep in their sorrow. And they lead Jesus to the tomb to see where Lazarus has been laid. But then, to their surprise, Jesus orders that the stone be rolled away. Even after he's reminded of the body's stench of decay, Jesus says, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out. A story of resurrection and life. See, the truth is, there is pain and death in this world, and death stinks. Yet in our faith, we believe that God is present with everyone who suffers, weeping tears of sadness for all the world's pain. But we also believe that Jesus doesn't just weep for us. He becomes the resurrection and the life. Now, maybe believing this begins with the comfort of knowing that through his own death and resurrection, Jesus offers us new life after this one has ended. There is comfort and peace in knowing that. But it's not just a resurrection on the last day that Jesus is offering. Jesus offers us new life today, like Lazarus. Lazarus, come out. Whatever your pain, whatever your hurt, know that Jesus weeps with you, but then hear him calling you forth to new life as a child of God. And that's what we celebrate this All Saints Day. Not just those who have died in the faith, but all of us the great cloud of witnesses who live in the faith each and every day. I look forward to seeing you in worship.